Hi there. Now, for this part of the question, we've got to calculate two critical regions, do a two-tailed test, in other words, for the hypothesis that the mean number of emails received in a 10-minute period is four. And we've got to look at being as close as we can in each region to 0.025. That's two and a half percent half of our five percent here. Now what this means, not that you have to set this out like this, but I'm going to put this down in some detail. First of all though, I would encourage you to define a random variable. And in this case it's let x be the random variable number of emails per 10 minutes. And it's going to be where x is distributed as a Poisson with a mean of lambda. And with Considering these hypotheses, the null hypothesis is that we're expecting the mean to be 4. But we've got to work out critical regions where the mean is not 4. So it's going to be a two-tailed test and we're testing at the 5% level of significance. So you wouldn't necessarily want to write that down, but this is just to give you an idea. and. You might not even want to write this down, but it's just a graphical illustration of what's going on. This is a number line representing the number of emails that can come in, and it's going to go from naught upwards. Now, over this 10 minute period, if the null hypothesis is true, there's going to be four emails coming in, or roughly around four. But if we're looking for those critical regions, there's going to be a lower critical region and an upper critical region where the probability of being lower than this one, let's call it RL, the probability of our random variable X being less than or equal to that lower critical value has got to be roughly, approximately then 0.025 two and a half percent. And if I take this value here as the upper critical value, RU, then we're looking for the region where the probability of X being greater than or equal to that upper critical value is approximately 0 0.025, two and a half percent. So I'm going to work through both of these individually then. Let's take this lower one first of all because it's the easiest one to work with. We're going to need to use the cumulative Poisson distribution table. So let's just put here from tables. What do we see? Well I've got an extract of these tables which I'll bring up and you can see that we're looking for under the null hypothesis the mean to be 4 and we've got the observed values down here. So looking at the lower end here you can see naught we've got 0 0.0183 and at 1 0 0.0916. So if we're to be as close as we can to this probability here 2.5% then 0.0916 is greater than it but by a lot more than what naught is below it. So from tables that lower critical value RL is zero. And if I look at this one here, remember the tables give us the probability of being less than or equal to a particular value. So we've got to modify this, got to think of this then as being the probability of x being less than or equal to, and we'll take one less than this, so that would be ru minus 1, and that probability is going to be approximately 1 minus 0.025, in other words 0.975. And from the tables here, which of these values is closest as we can get to 0.975? Well, looking at this, it's clearly got to be 8. So we've therefore got 
RU minus 1, the upper critical value minus 1, has got to equal 8. And it follows from this that the upper critical value has got to be 9, 8 plus that 1. So in answer to the question, we've got to find the critical region. So those critical regions are going to be that x, the probability that x is equal to 0, or the probability that our random variable x is greater than or equal to 9. They're going to be the critical regions. OK, so just finish that off there, the critical regions. OK.